Roman Reigns references AEW as he faces off with Cody Rhodes last night on Monday Night Raw on the road to WrestleMania. Speaking of WrestleMania, the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match has been made official for the showcase of the Immortals. Logan Paul once again knocks out Seth Rollins on Raw last night. Bray Wyatt and Bobby Lashley are nowhere to be seen during the broadcast on the USA Network. Speaking of people pulled from the show, Carmella pulled from the show. Grayson Waller pulled from the show as well. Dominic Mysterio says he's going to call out his own mother on SmackDown on Friday as he attempts to get a match against Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania. Goldberg is now officially a free agent after his WWE contract has expired. A men's tag team showcase match has been announced for WrestleMania 39. Could Zack Ryder make his return to WWE on the Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania 39? Edge wants to face the Demon at WrestleMania 39 inside Hell in a Cell. Brock Lesnar and Amos will have a weigh-in ahead of their WrestleMania showdown next week on Raw. We've got the ratings for SmackDown this past Friday and what's the latest for Batista in the Hall of Fame. Hey guys, welcome back to Rest News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of news stories to get into in the world of world wrestling entertainment. Let's start off talking about Monday Night Raw last night. It was a very eventful and newsworthy episode of the Red Brand Show on USA Network. And after Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens kicked off Raw, Jimmy and Jay Uso joined them to make a huge match official. We'll talk about that just a bit later on. But after that, in a backstage segment, Roman Reigns addressed Jimmy and Jay regarding their not the best start to the evening. While Jimmy Jimmy got temporarily heated and sounded like he was standing up to Roman, albeit only momentarily. He was sure to note that his rage remained firmly directed at Sami Zayn for the drama in the bloodline. Reigns directed Heyman to have everyone leave the room except for Jay Uso. When the show returned from the commercial break, Roman Reigns questioned how Jay had suddenly returned and was now making decisions. Are you with us? Are you bloodline? Are you still my family? While Jay reassured Reigns that he was with him and was still very much in the bloodline, Roman responded, I hope so. That's all I needed to hear. I'll see you later. But before Jay could get up to leave, Roman added, I love you. And maybe a bit of a hint as to what's to come in the future for Reigns and Jay. But certainly what had a lot of people talking was Roman Reigns facing off again Against Cody Rhodes last night to close last night's edition of Monday Night Raw. Of course, WrestleMania 39 headline is the American Nightmare and the Tribal Chief. While the duo traded barbs, which also saw Cody Rhodes drive a rather savage wedge between Solo Sokoa and Roman Reigns, which we'll talk about in just a second, Reigns landed some big lines of his own. Informing Cody that he was a runner, he mentioned that after he didn't like the Stardust gimmick, he ran away, but more viciously, a reference to AEW2, telling Rhodes he went and started a company that he also couldn't get over in, so he had to run away again and come back to WWE. On the notably positive side, however, Cody Rhodes made his own reference to AEW of sorts when he mentioned that 100% of every locker room gets paid more because of the formation of an alternative. He also mentioned it again when he encouraged Reigns to stop bringing up Dusty Rhodes as his dad wasn't going to be at WrestleMania to be able to drop a bionic elbow and my brother works for another company. There has been multiple recent references to AEW throughout Cody Rhodes' road to WrestleMania, although the promotion has not been mentioned by name as of right now. Now, I mentioned this wedge between Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa that maybe Cody Rhodes had done. After a substantial verbal joust, there was also a fascinating exchange between Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. While Cody Rhodes told Roman that his entire empire was on the verge of collapse, basically anyway, he told Sokoa very directly that he wasn't ready yet. Perhaps hearkening back to his days with Randy Orton and Legacy, Rhodes, that just because you're alongside the champion doesn't mean you're going to become the champion. When Rhodes, when Roman was comfortable fleeing the ring after he determined he'd had enough of Rhodes and Heyman, uh, uh, enough of Rhodes, uh, and Heyman trailed behind, Solo lingered behind. Roman commanded Solo to follow. However, as he began to exit the ring, Cody baited him again, and it seemed he couldn't help himself. Attempting a Samoan spike, instead he received a big kick to the face from Rhodes, but when starting to kick off again, he was intercepted by Roman Reigns himself. 
Reigns on the apron stops Sokoa, but also mouthed the words next week. So hopefully that match becomes official very soon because Solo, uh, Solo Sokoa versus Cody Rhodes, I would like to see that one. They have actually been doing that match recently at WWE house shows, so it makes sense that they would bring that to television right before WrestleMania. That sounds like a good time to do it. But what did you make of uh, the Roman Reigns-Cody Rhodes exchange last night on Monday Night Raw? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I spoke about what the show closed with. Let's talk about what it opened with, and that was with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. And it is official. The undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships will be on the line at WrestleMania 39, the last uh, night show of, Wrestle of WrestleMania, of uh, Monday Night Raw on the road to WrestleMania, opened with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens uh, talking about their reunion on Friday's edition of SmackDown. While the duo came out to the ring and confirmed their partnership, they took a moment to gaze at the WrestleMania sign, but before long, they were met by obvious foes. Another recently reunited pair, Jimmy and Jay Uso, popped up, and they had no problem exchanging words, including Sami Zayn calling out Jay Uso's desire to topple Roman Reigns. The verbal jousting was relatively brief but strong, as KO suggested cutting to the chase. Uh, challenging the Usos to a WWE Undisputed Tag Team Championship match at WrestleMania, Jimmy did not appreciate appreciate such a suggestion. While Jimmy declined, Jay, on the other hand, noted this could be their one shot to put this Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens problem in the dirt. Challenge issued and challenge accepted as the brawling didn't wait for WrestleMania 39, instead kicked off straight away. With the two teams brawling at ringside, the scene was only broken up by the backstage arrival of the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, at the arena. We spoke about what happened after that, but indeed the match is now official. The undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships will be on the line. The Usos defending against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, a match that some within the company have been pushing to be main event of WrestleMania Night 1. Now, Logan Paul was back on Monday Night Raw last night, hosting an edition of his impulsive podcast. And once again, Seth Rollins has been knocked out by the social media megastar. Logan Paul appeared on this week's Monday Night Raw to host a special episode of Impulsive and wound up knocking out Seth Rollins for the second time in three weeks. Rollins interrupted the segment from the production truck by cutting Paul's microphone, then started playing his entrance as he danced his way out to the ring. Instead of a war of words, Rollins immediately took Paul to the ground and the pair started started brawling outside of the ring before a security team rushed out to separate them. Rollins placed Paul on the commentary table and attempted to jump from the top turnbuckle, but the guards pulled Paul away and took the impact of Rollins' dive. Paul then snuck up and whacked Rollins with a right hand, leaving him out cold. Rollins has repeatedly stated in interviews that he cannot stand Paul and doesn't enjoy having him in WWE. This year will mark the third WrestleMania in a row involving the celebrity YouTuber and his fifth match since signing with the promotion. Obviously, it looks like it's going to be Roman, Roman Reigns. Logan Paul versus Seth Rollins got Roman Reigns on the brain at WrestleMania on night one, which will be on Logan Paul's 28th birthday. And he's going to be having a match against Seth freaking Rollins. Now, lots of people talking about what's going on with Bray Wyatt and his match against Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania. And after Monday night's edition of Raw, we still have no update as to really what's going on with the former Universal Champion. On last night's edition of Raw, nearly every segment boasted some sort of WrestleMania implication. However, one match from the red brand remained absent. There was no mention of the previously built match between Bray Wyatt and Bobby Lashley. In fact, neither Bray Wyatt nor Bobby Lashley appeared at the show from last night in St. Louis, Missouri. This comes after reports of Wyatt being ill and his status for WrestleMania being up in the air. So the update as of last night is that I guess that's still the case. I mean, we really don't know, but there's no update. We did have a Wyatt reference, a very subtle Easter egg on SmackDown with his moth logo appearing backstage in an LA Knight segment. But still, as of last night, no update on Bray Wyatt. Of course, if we get one, we'll let you know, but we're still as much in the dark as you are. Now, there was quite a few people, actually, that were pulled from last night's edition of, of Raw, one being Carmella. On last night's edition of Raw, an earlier reported spoiler was confirmed, putting one star's WrestleMania status into uncertainty. While it was previously announced that Bianca Belair and Asuka would team to face Chelsea Green and Carmella on the March 20 edition of Raw, there has been a change. In a backstage segment, Chelsea Green noted that despite the fact that she had matching gear made for the match, Carmella is now not available, with Green suggesting a new partner in Piper Niv 
given, the duo stared down Adam Pearce until he added them to the match and perhaps changing the course on a previously reported plan for WrestleMania. Carmella and Green were reportedly planned for the women's four-way tag match at WrestleMania, so without knowing how long Carmella will be out of action, they may have now had a change. Of course, if we get any updates on the change to Carmella's status or if she's going to be back in time for WrestleMania, we'll let you know. But certainly, she was pulled from last night's edition of Raw. For what reason? We don't know. Now, another person seemingly pulled from last night's edition of Monday Night Raw was NXT superstar um, Grayson Waller. As I mentioned, Carmella was absent. Um, it was also a previously announced match between the Maximum Male Models and the OC that was acknowledged on the show to be postponed. That's not all, though, as NXT superstar Grayson Waller was reportedly planned to be on the show, but things didn't work out. Earlier on Monday, WRKD Wrestling had tweeted Owens and Zayn uh, versus the Usos will open Raw tonight to make their WrestleMania match a Official Grayson Waller will also be in the building for a segment working towards his match with Johnny Gargano. Roman and Cody will close the show with a segment that has solo shine. Hashtag WWE Raw. Now, two of those things did happen. The one that didn't, of course, was Grayson Waller appearing, although there was a video replay of what happened between him and Gargano on NXT last week. Fast forward to after the show, WRKD Wrestling posted, quote, Plans changed throughout the day regarding Waller, sadly. Even judging by Waller's own Twitter, this seems to be true as earlier in the day, he teased an appearance by saying big plans tonight, but then a few hours later, he backtracked on that and said his plans involved not giving Johnny Comic Book any more of my clout. Of course, they're set to face off at Stand and Deliver, and... I guess plans do continuously change in WWE. It's not even in the Vince McMahon regime that that happens. It's also in the Triple H, Paul Levesque regime too. Now, one thing that is quite interesting is the Mysterio storyline. Dominic Mysterio is still trying to goad and bait his father into facing him at WrestleMania. And on last night's edition of Raw, Dominic Mysterio called out his mammy for this week's episode of SmackDown. And we're not talking about Rhea Ripley. Dominic Mysterio took on Johnny Gargano on last night's edition of Raw, and after the match, he shared his interesting plan to secure a WrestleMania 39 match against his father, Rey Mysterio. Well, after he put away Gargano, Mysterio got on the mic to call out an unlikely person for this week's edition of SmackDown, his actual mother. Dominic said on this week's edition of SmackDown, he planned to confront his mum and thereby get her to accept a WrestleMania match on behalf of Rey Mysterio. If this entire storyline ends without the involvement of Dominic's mother throwing a something. Uh, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know what's going on, but the Mysterio family drama, I guess, is right up there with the McMahon family drama in WWE history. We have to talk about a free agent, a Hall of Fame free agent, and one Bill Goldberg. There's a huge free agent on the market, although he's certainly got more years behind him than ahead of him. Sean Ross Sapp of Fight for Select has indeed confirmed that Bill Goldberg's WWE contract expired at the end of 2022 and no new deal to renew or extend was reached. Goldberg has been officially a free agent since that point. The 56-year-old Bill Goldberg only wrestled once in 2022, losing the last match on his contract to Roman Reigns. Over the last couple of years, Goldberg put over the likes of Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre, Reigns, and Bobby Lashley, though he did get a victory back over Lashley. Half of his matches since 2018 were in Saudi Arabia, and all of them were either for Saudi shows or big four WWE pay-per-view events. Goldberg actually wrestled the last match on his deal at last year's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, but there was a period of 10 months on the deal. During his most recent run, Goldberg won the Universal Championship twice, losing it both times at Red WrestleMania. Now, there were rumours that WWE's rival AEW was actually interested in Goldberg in 2019, but that was never confirmed. So, could Goldberg be All Elite? Would that even be something that they would entertain? Well, as of right now, he is. He is a free agent, so anything certainly is possible. Get ready for social media to mount down if indeed that does happen. A match has been announced for WrestleMania 39. And obviously, we've heard about the Women's Tag Team Showcase match that was announced on SmackDown last week with Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez defeating Shotzi and Tegan Knox to qualify for the Women's Showcase Fatal 4-Way Tag Team match on the show. It was announced earlier on in the show that there would be two showcase matches, one for the men and one for the women, with the men's field not being known just yet. The reported lineup of the match was the Street Profits, Alpha Academy, Viking Raiders and Braun Strowman and Ricochet. And that lineup has now been officially confirmed on this week's edition of Monday Night Raw. So those are the tag teams that are going to be involved. Who do you think is going to win? Let me know in the comment section below. Could Zack Ryder be on his way back to WWE? I know we've done this story about a million times regarding if the former Intercontinental and United States Champion is going to be coming back, 
But it's going to be interesting, certainly, when it comes to surprises and plans after WrestleMania. Typically, the most exciting Raw after uh, most exciting Raw of the year is the Raw after WrestleMania. It tends to be full of surprises, with surprise returns and debuts becoming Triple H's thing in recent months. There has been a lot of speculation as to whether we'll see any of that on the Raw after WrestleMania. Speaking to Give Me Sport, WrestleVotes provided an update on Triple H's plans for the show, noting that the route of multiple surprises is not what is planned for the show. They said, quote, I would bet money that the majority of surprises are going to be within the storylines on the show as opposed to debuts. They don't want to go down that road. I don't think that will happen. However, WrestleVotes didn't completely rule out all debuts, specifically naming Zack Ryder, Matt Cardona on the indie scene, as a return that we could see on the show. They added, quote, I think you might get one debut. I think you might get Zack Ryder. I think you'll get an NXT call up, but I don't think five, six or seven people are showing up because there's just not reality. If you bring in 10 people to a roster that can't even use everybody already, you have to look at what you're doing. There have been several names speculated for returns on the show, including Randy Orton, who there have been in recent internal discussions after months on the shelf. Many of the big storyline beats appear to have had seeds planted for a big Raw after WrestleMania twist, including the next chapter in the Bloodline saga coming out of WrestleMania. There's also talk about Jay White. There's obviously Matt Riddle still waiting to return. So there are still plenty of names that could make their return after WrestleMania or make their return debut, if you will, in the case of Zack Ryder. Now, of course, we know we're going to be getting a Hell in a Cell match at WrestleMania 39 as the rated R superstar Edge faces off against Finn Balor. And Edge has earned Finn Balor to bring his demon persona for their upcoming Hell in a Cell match at WrestleMania 39. On last night's edition of Raw, Edge spoke from a dark room as he explained why he feels at home inside the Hell in a Cell structure. I've been baptized inside the cell by the dead man himself, Edge stress. The cell has become my hard-worn uh, friend, my partner, my cathedral of pain. It rewards me for the streak that runs through me. You cannot become what you need to uh, become by remaining what you are. Finn, you and I are two men who clearly understand that, Ed continued. I grasp what you meant when you said that Hal couldn't handle your demons. So, Finn, so leave Finn at home. Bring your demon to meet the devil. He'd like to meet him. The segment ended with Edge breaking into sadistic laughter. Laughter. Fans on social media believe Edge could bring back the brood persona for the match at WrestleMania, a gimmick he used for the match against The Miz at day one last year. Edge also used the Attitude Era gimmick during his return at SummerSlam 2022, where he attacked the members of the Judgment Day for betraying him. Meanwhile, Balor has not utilized his alter ego since losing to Roman Reigns at Extreme Rules in September 2021. The final sequence of that match was heavily criticized as the top rope snapped, just as Balor prepared to hit Reigns with the coup de grace, subsequently Balor noted that he had no intention of utilizing his demon persona unless the moment warranted it. Clearly, the WrestleMania match against Edge would be a worthy stage. A recent report from Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select confirmed that WWE had plans for Valor to bring back his dark persona at WrestleMania 39. The match could potentially be Edge's last ever match at the showcase of the Immortals, considering that the Hall of Famer has strongly hinted at retiring from in-ring competition at some point later on this year, most likely when they are in his hometown of Toronto, Canada this summer. Next week, some big things have been announced for Raw. One is a weigh-in between Brock Lesnar and Amos. Brock Lesnar and Amos will weigh in on the final episode of Raw, ahead of their clash at WrestleMania 39. The segment was announced on Monday's show, where Amos squashed Mustafa Ali in a quick match. After the match, MVP cut a promo on behalf of his client, the dominant Amos. Quote, the Nigerian giant fears no man, animal or beast, MVP said, but Brock Lesnar will learn to fear the Nigerian giant at WrestleMania. Lesnar definitely showed signs of fearing Amos when the two behemoths came face to face on March 13. During that segment, Amos manhandled the beast and clotheslined him out of the ring, forcing Lesnar to retreat to the back with a concerned look. Fans on social media believe the segment did a good job of positioning Amos as a legitimate threat to conquer Lesnar. In recent years, Lesnar has taken a series of losses at the grandest stage of them all, suffering defeats to Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins. As such, the idea of Amos defeating Lesnar is is not inconceivable, even though Lesnar is currently the odds-on favourite to prevail at this year's WrestleMania. Several former wrestlers like Booker T and Kurt Angle have encouraged Lesnar to put over a mask and help the Nigerian giant make a giant leap in his young career. Angle has also urged Lesnar to start giving back to WWE in his final few years as a pro wrestler. As of right now, this is the only confirmed segment for Raw next week, but I'm sure we'll get more information as the week goes on. 
Let's talk about the ratings for last Friday's edition of SmackDown on the road to WrestleMania. Per Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics, SmackDown drew 2.258 million viewers. This is down from the March 10 edition that drew 2.320 million viewers. In the 18 to 49 demographic, Friday shows got a 0.59 rating. This is also down from the week prior that scored a 0.63 rating. WWE ranked number 10 on broadcast primetime in the demo for the night. Of course, the show featured Sami Zayn and Jay Uso having a face-to-face -face showdown before a brawl broke out, ending with Kevin Owens taking out the Usos and then finally hugging Zayn to solidify, to solidify their reunion. Also, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre went to a no contest after Gunther and Imperium interfered in their number one contenders match to set up a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania, but the number's slightly down on the road to WrestleMania, which would be something of an eyebrow raiser for SmackDown as we get closer to WWE's biggest event of the year. Finally, speaking of WrestleMania weekend, Batista. What's going on with Batista and the Hall of Fame? The Hall of Fame ceremony takes place March 31st with Batista as a name being thrown into the mix. It has been reported that this year's class will have a total of five inductees with Rey Mysterio headlining. Two other names have been confirmed with Andy Kaufman and the Great Muta being confirmed to be part of the select group. Batista is another name that has been thrown into the mix having been announced for the class of 2020. That year's Hall of Fame ceremony would be cancelled leading to no induction for Dave Batista. He would say that he's trying to be inducted as part of the class of 2023 when he spoke to comicbook.com in a recent interview. PW Insider has now provided an update as to whether we'll see Batista in the Hall of Fame this year. According to PW Insider, Batista is currently in South Africa filming the new My Spy movie. Their report states that it isn't logistically possible for him to physically be in Los Angeles for the upcoming Hall of Fame. Obviously, therefore, it's not going to be this year, but next year in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I suppose that could be possible. But there you go, guys. It's the latest WWE news for you. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe bottom right-hand corner. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember, you can join the WN365 roster page by clicking that join button. And I'll speak for you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.